Hey everybody, welcome back. This is another Sansi product review. Um, today they decided to send me what they call a 60 watt deformable LED light. And uh, there may be a little bit of uh, meaning lost in translation here, but we're going to check it out. Uh, I'm going to unbox it and show you what I got. Okay, so that's what it looks like. If you haven't quite figured it out yet, I'll show you exactly what it is. You get your usual Sansi welcome card and a nice little uh, instruction booklet. Um, so what we're looking at here is a, a garage or workshop light that has articulating arms so you can um, adjust the throw of the light. So if you want to focus the light down, straight down, you can um, so, as such. Or you can also tilt the uh, light modules up to throw the light a little bit more against the walls. So what you end up with is kind of um, a lighting system that is adjustable for the size of the space that you're trying to light. A couple things they point out right here on the casing is that it is suitable for suitable for damp environments. Do not use with dimmers and don't use it in an enclosed light fixture. It does have the Sansi proprietary ceramic backing disc that the LEDs are mounted to. Um, I have found these to run very cool and they don't um, dim over time because there's no heat buildup. Generally, the circuitry and the LEDs are separated from each other, so you don't get a whole bunch of heat buildup. And these lights tend to be very bright, so we're going to go ahead and go out to my garage and check that out right now. Okay, so here we are out in my garage, and if you take a look, right there is uh, the single light fixture that is provided for this space. Um, my garage is very well built but it, there was only a spot for one light and then there's a spot for the garage door opener which also has lights in it and only one electrical outlet so I'm gonna go and turn on the light and you'll see what happens when I turn on a normal 60 watt equivalent LED light so the single bulb does a pretty good job of lighting up it, it does an adequate job for getting in and out of a vehicle and navigating to the back door right there. Um, so not too bad, but let's go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and leave the camera in this position and swap this light out with the new Sansi light and we will see how that looks when I turn it on. Okay, so I've installed the Sansi garage light now and I just have all four of the arms pointing straight down. I'm gonna run over and turn on the switch and we'll see how it lights up the room. Okay, this light is noticeably brighter in the space directly below the light. It is just as bright as it is in my workshop. I will tilt you down so you can see right there. That's the ladder I was using. Excuse the filthy garage. Um, so here's the situation right now. So my camera has auto exposure and auto ISO and all that. I'm going to lock the exposure in the ISO and then I'm going to switch back to this small uh, LED light bulb here and hopefully you'll be able to tell the difference uh, between the brightness and the darkness. Auto ISO and auto exposure kind of uh, skews the results a little bit so hopefully by eliminating those variables you'll get a good representation of what it looks like. Okay this is the view I'm going to use so right now I have the Sansi work light installed in my light fixture. The ISO is set to 800 and the exposure is set to zero and so now when I come back you will see the difference between the Sansi work light 
and a standard single LED bulb. So here is that single uh, 800 lumen 9 volt 9 watt bulb and as you can see there's a pretty significant difference and we'll talk about that when I wrap up this video I mean it really boils down to obviously the color temperature and the amount of power that each one of these units draws so I think the big selling point for this light not only with the the amount of light that it puts out but it also has to do with the adjustability of the light as you can see I have it slightly tilted up and so it does a good job at um, casting light and bouncing the light off the walls. If you're using your garage to store your vehicle, you generally you don't need light right here in the center of the garage because that's the space that the vehicle occupies. But you may need to be able to see a little bit better. For me, it would be avoiding all of the junk that lines the walls of the garage so you don't trip over it or so you can find what you're looking for hanging up on the walls. So I find this light to be very handy and very bright and useful and I'm gonna go ahead and just leave it there and continue to use it because I really like it. So the comparison may not have been the most uh, fair because this uh, bulb that I replaced is only 9 watts and 800 lumens and the light that I put in its place is 60 watts and 6,000 lumens so the question would be if I stuck a 6,000 lumen light bulb I don't even know if those are available um, if I stuck it in there would it do the same job and I think my answer to that would be no, just because of the adjustability of the light. You can spread those bars out and tilt them up to really spread out that light. So let's say you use like a really powerful light bulb like this guy here. Um, like, um, and if you haven't seen the review on this, uh, it, it, I'll link it up in the cards and also down in the description below. But if you use a light bulb like this, it's still casting the light downward. So the big advantage that this light provides is the fact that you can articulate the arms and kind of um, direct where you want it to cast the light. Um, you'll notice that the arms are longer than the depth of the overall device. So in my case, since this is mounted to a ceiling, the arms can only tilt so far before they come into contact with the ceiling. Uh, it's not that big a deal. If you have like an an open ceiling uh, pole barn or something with open rafters, you would be able to articulate these even higher into the space and maybe get the light to cast even farther than what I'm capable to do in my garage with an 8 foot ceiling. So my final verdict on this Sansi deformable garage and workshop light. Weird name, but a very useful product and it's super bright. And like I said before, I'm gonna put it right to work in my garage and I'm no longer going to rely on these wimpy single bulbs anymore. Uh, this is a great solution for getting the light in the dark portions of the garage all from a single, from a single output, from a single socket. So if you're looking for a solution that's more than just a single bulb in the center of your garage, I would highly encourage you to check this out and give it a try. Because for me, it really is a game changer. Thanks everybody for watching. I've reviewed several Sansi products at this point and I will go ahead and leave a playlist right here of those products and hopefully if you're interested in LED products that are high quality, go ahead and check out that playlist. If you feel so inclined, go ahead and like and subscribe, and I will be putting out more review videos in the near future, as well as project videos from my Red Barn Woodworking channel. Thanks again for watching, and I will see you guys next time.